Uh, thank you for your letter. You did a letter, uh, open letter, there in the uh, Christian Post, open letter to the president, President Donald Trump. Tell us about it. I believe it's time for President Trump to understand very clearly that he is in the Oval Office on the capital of the conservative Christian vote. And I think it's time for him to stop embarrassing us and giving a very bad witness to what we stand for with respect to his language and with respect to his demeanor in many of his public appearances. He identifies himself as being one with us. I've been around politics long enough that I'm beginning to develop a little bit of cynicism. I want to see him act like a Christian instead of just proposing by his mouth that he is one of us. You can hear the amens across the country with that, and yet I will receive the emails saying, lay off a Trump. So I'll take those hits for you, buddy. But on the other hand, um, if we don't improve the discourse in this country, it's going to stay in the gutter, right? Yes, and there have been so, so many studies done about the relationship of the national mood and the national style with the presidency itself. We've had some very poor presidents morally. Uh, there's a whole book on the dark age of Camelot that talks about the, about the kind of uh, behavior that characterized the Kennedy administration that the left gets so excited about it, and they've made him a hero. The same thing is true with the Johnson administration, with Nixon. Nixon, I prayed with Nixon in the Oval Office and then was shocked, shocked beyond belief uh, to read the words that were on the tapes in the, in the Oval Office. Now, here's the way I feel about Trump. Trump is doing things that are very important. He's standing for life. He, he made the most eloquent defense of, of um, religious freedom before the United Nations. Uh, he called it like it is, and I appreciate that very, very, very much. But there are a couple of elements in his style that are really bearing a bad witness. For example, when he used the GD word in one of his speeches recently, I thought about the fact that we evangelicals and all conservative Christians, our, our greatest passion is to help people not be damned to hell. And for the president of the United States, not, I mean, not even Nixon would do that in public, but for the president of the United States to use that kind of language uh, greatly affects uh, the, the tone in our culture. Uh, the second item that I have very great concern about is his ad hominem. Uh, in political discourse, we, we talk about ad hominem in contrast to an issues-focused address or an issues-focused speech. Ad hominem attacks the person and not the uh, issue. And the issue is what needs to be attacked, not, not the per person. So when he identifies uh, Schiff, for example, as, as pencil neck, uh, and, and he, he uses these terms that are, that are just not presidential. Um, it, is, it is a great concern to me, and I think it has an impact on the political discourse in the nation. Now, I understand fully why Trump has to be tough. He's got to be tough. It is a tough, tough place, and the left is doing everything possible to bring him down.